Okay, let's learn how to subtract positive and negative numbers. So we're talking about problems like this right here. And uh, we want to understand why negative 4, okay, minus 8 is equal to negative 12. Now, somebody out there might look at this and be like, oh, okay, no, I know this stuff. Well, if you know this stuff, stick around uh, for a minute anyways, because I do have some practice exercises. Let's see if you could uh, pass my little quiz here. But uh, dealing with positive and negative numbers is absolutely critical if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics. Uh, students tend to make mistakes in these areas. So we're talking about uh, uh, adding, subtracting, multipl uh, multiplying, and dividing positive and negative numbers. So of course we're talking about subtracting only in this video, but I will say right up front, in order for you to know how to subtract positive and negative numbers, you must already know how to add positive and negative numbers. And I've posted a uh, video recently on how to add and only add positive and negative numbers. So you want to check this video out right there. Uh, if you don't already know how to add positive and negative numbers. But I'll talk a little bit about it anyway, so we'll do a little bit of a, of a review in this video. But of course, we're going to be focused on this, and then we have uh, multiplication and division, which you want to follow up and make sure that you understand uh, these various rules. Now, these rules are pretty easy, but what tends to happen is students confuse these rules. They'll be thinking, what's the rule for this? And they'll apply it for you know multiplication for addition, or addition will apply that rule for division. So again, Practice makes perfect, but uh, we're going to get into all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. I've been teaching math for decades, and I really feel like I have a teaching style that is ultra clear and understandable. So anyone and, and everyone can learn mathematics, but what you need is clear instruction. Okay, so if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out. If you happen to be preparing for some sort of test like the GED, SAT, ACT, or maybe like a teacher certification exam, I'm talking about a test with a math section on it. Uh, I have a huge library of test prep courses, so definitely check those out. And if you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my middle and high school math curriculum. Uh, we just recently voted number one by a major homeschool publication for homeschool courses. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into this, how to subtract positive and negative numbers. Again, disclaimer, you need to know how to already add positive and negative numbers. So, uh, you know, if you're unsure about this little video, what I'm going to be teaching you, go back to the addition and then circle back to, and uh, rewatch this video. But let's get into it. And I'm going to give you basically the rule that you need to be thinking about here. So when we're talking about subtracting positive and negative numbers, the key is to change the problem to addition. Okay, so all subtraction problems, okay, we're going to change subtraction problems to addition problems. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to do it with this very famous thing called plus negative, right? So plus negative, that's the little phrase. And let me show you how it works. So here we have 6 minus 10. Okay, we're actually uh, doing a subtraction of positive and negative numbers and we're going to change this subtraction operator to addition okay so again how do you subtract positive and negative numbers change uh, the problems uh, from subtraction to addition okay but when we do this we have to do this thing called plus negative all right that's the little phrase and uh, it goes like this let me just be super clear that you understand what's going on here okay all right, so here we have 6 minus 10. I'm going to change from subtraction to addition, but it's going to be plus negative. So I'm, instead of writing this problem as 6 minus 10, I'm going to write it as 6 plus negative 10. This right here is my plus negative, okay? So again, I'll say it one more time just to be ultra clear. 6 minus 10, where it's a subtraction problem. I'm changing it to addition. So I'm writing it as 6 plus negative 10. Now at this point in the problem, okay, once we did this little plus negative, this here is uh, an addition problem. Okay, so we went from subtraction to addition. So this is why I said you need to know how to already um, add positive and negative numbers. But let me just do a fast, fast review. When we're talking about adding positive and negative numbers, uh, what I always like to tell students is to think in terms of money, everyone's favorite topic. So 
if you have a positive number, that's like you have money. And if you have a negative number, that's like you owe money. Okay, then we want to kind of uh, interpret the situation and see what our financial situation is. So let's go ahead and just do a quick review. So here I have six plus negative 10. Okay, so uh, six, that's a positive six. That means I have $6. So maybe I have six bucks in my pocket. And then my best friend comes up to me and says, hey, you owe me $10. Remember last week I gave you 10 bucks for lunch? You're like, oh boy. So if you have $6, but you owe your friend negative $10, or $10, which is negative 10, how much money do you have? Well, you don't have any money. You say, oh, here, I have six bucks and I owe you $4 more. Okay, so six plus negative 10 is equal to negative four. Okay, so what's going on uh, when you're dealing with adding uh, positive and negative numbers. If you think in terms of money, you'll always, you know, uh, uh, kind of interpret the situation much easier. This is what I found. I've been teaching this stuff for decades. So let's go ahead and do some practice problems here. And uh, if you think you can do these, you're like, I don't need your help, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I already I got this down. Well, if you got this down, go ahead and uh, uh, do these problems here real quick. So what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm first going to rewrite the problem in, uh, using plus negative, this concept. We're going to go from subtraction to addition, and then we'll uh, write our final answers right here. Okay, so let's practice that plus negative uh, point, and then, of course, these will be our final answers. So let's go ahead and get to it. So here I have uh, negative 8 um, minus 4, right? So I want to do this as a plus negative. So negative 8 minus 4, this is a subtraction of uh, positive and negative numbers, I want to write it this way, negative 8 plus negative 4. Okay, there's my plus negative. So this, these two problems are equivalent, okay? So what does this mean in terms of money? Well, here I owe someone 8 bucks, and then I owe another person $8. So my total financial situation is I have $12 total in debt. So negative 8 plus negative 4 is negative 12, or negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Okay, so again, negative 8 minus 4. I'm like, mm, I got to do this plus negative. Let's do it here, and now I can easily interpret what's going on. Okay, so if you understand this, then go ahead and finish out the rest of these problems. But let me go ahead and do this real quick so we can wrap up this video. So we have uh, 9 minus 12. I'm going to change this to plus negative. 9 plus negative 12. So what does this mean? I have nine bucks, I owe someone uh, $12. So I give them all my $9, but I still owe them three more dollars. So nine plus negative 12 is negative three, or uh, nine minus 12 is negative three. Okay, so that is the answer. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this problem. Now this one's kind of interesting. Uh, because we have this negative of a negative 5, right? A negative sign, oftentimes you can uh, interpret that as the, having the meaning as opposite. So an opposite of a negative 5 is what? Well, this is a positive 5. So this is plus 5 or positive 5 minus 3. So this problem really is 5 plus a negative 3. Okay, 5 plus a negative 3. So that is uh, this... Um, uh, negative of a negative 5 minus 3 is equivalent to 5 plus negative 3. So what does that mean? Hey, you got $5 and your friend comes up. Hey, you owe me 3 bucks. You're like, oh, here you go. I'll give you your $3. And of course, you have $2 left over to yourself, a positive 2 bucks. All right. So if you're getting this, that's excellent. And let's go ahead and finish up with this last problem. I have negative 16 minus 10. So let's go ahead and apply that plus negative. Negative 16 plus a negative 10. Okay, so what's this situation? Well, you owe somebody 16 bucks and you owe another person 10 bucks. You're like, oh boy, uh, my total debt is negative 26 bucks. That's how much I uh, owe in total. Okay, so negative 16 plus negative 10 is negative 26 or negative 16 minus 10 is, of course, negative 26. All right, so how did you do? Okay, well, if you got all these problems right, uh, and you knew this in advance, I must give you a happy face with a good old 1985 uh, flat top haircut. Uh, I don't, probably a lot of you weren't even born in maybe even 1995, but 
1985 was a pretty cool year. A lot of good music, but that was, uh, you know, an impressive, uh, impressive haircut back in those days. And uh, you wouldn't believe it, but you can get a haircut back in those days for like three bucks. It was kind of crazy, right? But uh, now inflation would probably cost you like $30. Anyways, A plus 100%. Nice job. Now, you know, if you uh, were confused about this, but now you're like, nope, I remember this, then that's excellent. That's the whole point of this video. But remember, okay, uh, when it comes to subtracting positive and negative numbers, you first must really get that um, addition of positive and negative numbers down because we take subtraction problems and we convert them to addition problems. All right, so how did you do? Well, it doesn't make a difference if you were lost. As long as you uh, understand something now, that's great. Okay, so that's the whole point of this video. But don't just let these little four practice problems be enough. You gotta, you gotta continue on, follow through, do a lot of these different problems, and mix it up. You're gonna have to learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and then you have to put all these together because you can easily confuse these rules. Okay, but uh, anyways, if this little video helped you out in some small way, go ahead and consider helping me out in a large way by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos basic math to advanced math, advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you, if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all my content. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.